page six thirteen, section nine point four. Today, this also is in logarithm. Okay, for this section, we have three formula. First formula: if we have log base of a n times n. For multiplication, we can change to addition. So be log base of a n plus log base of a n. Also, if they give you in addition, like over here, if they give you in addition, like over here, you can change back to multiplication. Okay, so this is kind of like two ways too. You can change back and forth. Next, the second equation. We have log base of a n divided by n. From division, we can change to subtraction. So it will be log base of a n minus log base of a n. Also, from here is the same. Okay, so if they give you in subtraction like this, if they give you in subtraction, you can change back to multiplication. I'm sorry, division. So division can change to subtraction. Subtraction can change to division. The last formula over here. We have log base of a x r. Okay. So here we're going to change the exponents. Exponents to r. So we're going to move the r to the front of the log. So be r times log base of a x. Also, if over here. If they give you in this format, okay, r times log base of a, you can change back to expon exponents, exponential. Okay, next, let's look at numbers twenty six. So number twenty six, we have log base of b w plus log base of b z. So here they give us addition. So for addition, we can change it back to multiplication. All you need to do is just write down log base of b. Then you multiply the w z together. Then that's it. Then that's your answer. Now twenty number twenty eight. We have log base of a、uh, base of b x minus log base of b y. So here subtraction we can change to division. So be log base of b. First number will be your numerator, which will be the x. Denominator will be the second number, which will be the y. So that's your answer. Now number thirty. Number thirty. We have parentheses. You have log base of a p minus log base of a. Q plus two log base of a r. So here we're going to use order of operation. So we're going to work inside the parenthesis first. Inside the parenthesis, we have subtraction. So we're going to change to division. So be log base of a p over q plus two for the two. We're going to change change the two to become the exponent. So be log base of a r square. Next, now we have addition in between. So addition. So when you multiply the two numbers, okay, when you multiply a number to a fraction, make sure you always multiply the number to the numerator. So here your answer is equal to p r square over q. Now let's look at number thirty two. Number thirty two, we have three. Log a phi minus one half log base of a nine. So here, we want to change the number in front of log to become the exponent. So keep the log, keep log,、uh, keep the base of a. Then will be phi to the third power minus log base of a nine to the one half. After that. We're going to change from subtraction to division. Okay, so keep log base of a five o a five to the third power over nine and one half. Keep the log base of a. We're going to multiply everything out. Five to the third power be one two five over 
One half are going to change to square root of 9. Okay, the next, keep log base of A, 1, 2, 5 on the top, take the square root of 9, give you a 3. Then that's it, that's the answer. Okay, next, let's look at number 34. Number 34, we have log base of 10, x plus 4, plus log base of 10, x plus 6. So here, addition, we're going to change to multiplication, keep the log, keep the base of 10, so we're going to multiply the two parentheses, x plus 4 times parentheses of x plus 6. After that, we're going to use the FOIL method, okay? We're going to use the FOIL method, but remember, keep everything still inside the parentheses, okay? So step one, we multiply x times x, which it gave me an x squared. Step two, we're going to use x times 6, so this becomes plus 6x. Step three, we're going to use 4 times x, so this become plus 4x. Step 4, we're going to use 4 times 6. So this become plus 24. After that, we're going to combine the like term. Keep the log base of a parenthesis of x squared plus 10x plus 24. Then that's the answer.